Hey, it's Greg Sisson with eXp Realty here in Myrtle Beach. And the question I have for you is, are we in an inventory crisis? Stick around, I'll answer the question. Inventory crisis. Sounds dramatic, doesn't it? But that's what we're in right now. And what a difference a year makes. You know, a year ago, April, mid-April 2020, we didn't know what to expect with COVID. And now a year later, we have 1,400 single family homes for sale in our market. And last year at this time, we had nearly 4,000. Okay, let me repeat that. 1,400 homes for sale today. We had 3,815 a year ago. Now I wanna share with you three things today in this brief video. Number one, I wanna talk about these March market stats. Number two, I wanna talk about home appreciation. And number three, let's do a little prediction. How long can this crazy market last? So let's start with number one, the March market statistics. When we think about today, 1,400 homes for sale, I dug a little deeper. Out of that 1,424 homes for sale as of today, 713 are new construction. So basically half the inventory are resales and half are new construction. Of the new construction, conservatively, 70% of those or 500 are, if you went to the property, it's dirt and maybe some infrastructure, maybe a slab. They're not ready to be bought. So as essentially, we really only have about 900, 950 homes for sale. Now, last month in March, 1,224 homes closed. So we have a three week supply of inventory, okay? A year ago, we had a 4.4 month supply of inventory. So just, just let that sink in. So that's what an inventory crisis is. Now let's talk about appreciation. You know, appreciation a year ago, in March, the median sale price was 270,000. Today, excuse me, it was 243, and today it's 270. That's 11%. Your home is worth 11% more today than it was a year ago. I mean, the average sales price was up 16%, but you get a lot more high-end selling, which is dragging that up. So 11% year over year. Now here's the prediction part. How long can this last, Greg? How long will this go up? And can prices go up another 10, 12% from a year from now? And the answer honestly is yes, because as long as the supply shrinks and the demand of people coming in that are buying homes, the law of supply and demand says that prices continue to go up. So if you're looking to sell, are you willing to roll the dice? Because Inventory, if it creeps up, then prices will start to flatten out or not grow as rapidly. And now with the vaccine, more people we're talking to are gonna be listing their homes. So there is pent up demand, pent up inventory that I'm expecting to see. So call me though, because right now, sellers and agents are making mistakes with pricing. I wanna to talk to you about pricing strategy if you're thinking about selling. Please share this video with your friends and I'll talk to you next time.